my whole teaching is all about helping the actor see and feel that destination. I think each actor finds uh, 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 his or her own unique way to, to relax, meaning um, put your focus outside of yourself. For me, that's relaxation. Uh, if you're focused on yourself and worried about what's going to happen or uh, whether you're going to be good or something, and then uh, that's creating uh, uh, tension. So uh, the key to relaxation, I think, is to put your focus on something other than yourself. Just count uh, uh, how many times you know, the other actor, you know, his partner, is blinking. And si something simple like that can help the actor uh, relax a little bit because all of a sudden he's, he's not really focused on himself but he's focused on something so specific that's outside of himself and then he starts breathing and he starts getting less self-conscious so um, yeah um, I guess relaxation for me is about how to put your mind on the right thing yeah and the preparation is really preparation in the, in the sense, you don't prepare while you're performing. A lot of actors actually do that, you know. They're pre preparing or they, they, they hold on to their preparation as, you know, when they start uh, um, doing the scene. And that's no longer preparation because preparation is something that happens before uh, the scene. Um, well, I guess looking back, um, I spent a lot of time trying to be a good actor, and that's a trap, uh, or trying to be a great actor. Um, it's, it's, it's all about getting involved and in doing one project after another, without worrying too much about whether you're great or good or whatever. You really keep working and uh, keep doing something you know, and then you build relationships. And for me, uh, um, acting, uh, um, the business of acting, if you like, um, is all about relationships. Like I said, acting, when it's really good, it's real communication. And communication really happens between, at least between two people or more. You know, actor is not a musician, so you can't really go home and uh, sit uh, uh, in your room and practice. It's very difficult to, to practice acting alone because uh, uh, you can cer do certain things, but then uh, you know, uh, after a while you have to get out of your room and you, you just get out there and then really work with other people and get into these relationships. Um, Brando uh, once said something very interesting about acting. And he said acting is about letting things happen. Um, and it's not about making things happen. And uh, I think that's a very, very profound statement. Um, because actors, they want to come in and do their thing. You see? And, and uh, this desire to do their thing uh, 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 um, prevents them from really listening, for example. You see? So, how can you create a condition uh, before you actually start acting so that uh, um, you can just allow things to happen? I, I think as, as a teacher, my, my first job is to, to make each actor feel what, what this is all about. Uh, not, I say feel, because I don't want the actor just to understand. Because intellectual understanding doesn't really help. But then viscerally feel what this is about. And that becomes their destination. And then it doesn't matter what method they're going to use to get there. Sometimes you need a, a train to get there. Sometimes you need a, like a bicycle. Sometimes you just have to walk. But then, as long as you know exactly where you want to go, you get there. So, uh, my whole teaching is all about really helping the actor see and feel that destination.